to the city of Albuquerque, statewide, nationally, and worldwide. I want to thank you this morning for coming. I want to first reiterate that this will be our first and probably only press conference we're going to do as a family. Victoria's death follows a 40-year prison sentence handed down in May for Albuquerque woman of the 2013 kicking of her son, Omari. We have lost so many children in this city by the hands of the parent, the boyfriend, or another significant relative. And this is so unfair to the children. I am mandating in the legislation in Santa Fe, I will be meeting with some grandparents with the legislator to try to make these laws a little more stringent, to work with authorities, to try to stop these innocent killings. I am personally tired of going to funerals. I am tired of advocating for these kids who can't for themselves. I should not be standing here. This family should not be standing behind me in grief. I first want to say to our children, who are the most beautiful, sweetest, most treasured of our creations, and yet every 28 minutes, a child dies by guns, abuse, neglect, or from the hands of a loved one, who is supposed to be their protector. They have few rights and no one to speak for them. Today we speak for children and for the voice of little Victoria. Parents, communities, government, let's put our children first because they are our future. You see standing behind me the grandparents of Victoria. John Martin, the grandfather. Pat Martin, the grandmother. Michael Martin, her uncle. Aunts, cousins, and numerous more that have not arrived yet. The answer is, why are we standing here? As a spokesperson for this family and a very close friend, who I've known for over five years, Victoria was my little goddaughter. I took to love her. This family and I are as close to pain as on a wall. If you must know the answer to that, that is the answer. With our deepest sorrow and grief, we share these heartfelt words to you all. We first thank the first responders who answered 911 calls from dispatchers who entered in to what they call the most repulsive crime scene they had ever witnessed with a child involved. The CSI team, forensics, the OMI, and the detectives who had never stopped until they brought us the news of what had happened to little Victoria. To police chief Gordon and all his many officers on the scene. The police chaplains, thank you. To the advocates of crime for children, thank you. Guardian of Angels, thank you. To Mayor Barry of the City of Albuquerque, thank you for holding the candlelight vigil in the City Plaza, thank you. To Governor Susan Martinez and the State of Mexico Attorney General Hector Valderas, who stated to me that for their warmest word of condolences on behalf of Victoria, that they will not stop this fight to pursue for justice for her. To the many businesses and services with no reservations or hesitation by showing their support and love all across the country. Thank you. 
thank you for all that you have done. Most of all, thank you to the residents of Albuquerque, as well as statewide for your cards, flowers, makeshift memorials, as you paid respectful homage to our precious angel. those who show their respect at the heavenly birthday party at Mariposa Park yesterday, thank you so very much. To church members and pastors sending food and many items for the family, thank you. For the friends and relatives back in New York who have gone above and beyond the call of duty for this New York family, we say thank you. all our precious friends and neighbors and the residents of Arroyo Villa Apartments where Victoria once lived. For all the donations that have been given in the name of love to our foundation for her little brother who she leaves behind and for his continued love and care, a very big thank you. The love this city and state has shown and poured out to us has been so overwhelming that we cannot conceive the kindness shown to us at such a despicable time. This juncture in our life is not exalted because we have a long road ahead. Because the time to say our final farewells will come when we lay our precious angel to rest. We will still be on this path of sorrow as we waste the days ahead with the court system working to seek justice for Victoria Martins. Finally, we leave you all with this. When we say our final goodbyes for little Queen Victoria, as I, as I called her, and she kept that name from that day forward, as we call her, she will soon have a new address where she were able to speak out today, this is what she would say. I want you to know that I have moved. I received a call from God, the chief architect, who informed me that my new house was ready and that I could move in immediately. I'm so sorry I didn't have time to give you notice. My new address will soon be one gate to the city avenue, God's town heaven, and the zip code will be 71717. Continue to keep sending prayers up for this family Continue to keep sending up strength that we'll be able to stand and hold together. And we'll get through these inconceivable times as a family. Thank you for availing your time. Thank you for being here for us. May God bless you. May God bless the state of New Mexico. God keep you all from the Marks family. Thank you.